Hello all travel lovers. I'm Thomas, and I welcome you. In this channel, we will immerse ourselves in Singapore's fascinating mix of cultures, architectural innovation, and delicious cuisine. From the glittering skyscrapers of Marina Bay to the charming historic neighborhoods, together we will discover the best-kept secrets of this vibrant city-state. Are you ready to embark on this exciting adventure with me? Subscribe now and join me on this unforgettable journey through Singapore. Let's discover together all the treasures that this city has to offer. Hello everyone, I'm Andy, the Globetrotter. Together with Thomas, I will take you through Singapore, showing you the most fascinating corners and best-kept secrets of this incredible city. Get ready for an adventure full of fun and discovery. Subscribe now and join us on this journey through Singapore. Singapore Republic of Singapore is a unique blend of city-state and island nation, located in the maritime heart of Southeast Asia. Singapore lies between Malaysia, which it borders to the north, and Indonesia to the south. It consists of 64 islands, including the main island known as Singapore Island or Pulau Yujang. This island is connected to the Malay Peninsula by two bridges. Republic of Singapore Capital, Singapore the official languages are English, Malay, Mandarin, and Tamil. Virtually all inhabitants speak English and also the language of their ethnicity, Chinese, Malay, or Indian. The currency of Singapore is the Singapore dollar, SGD, one Singapore dollar equals 0.75 United States dollar. The major religions are Buddhism and Taoism. Approximately 15% of the population are Christians and there is also a similar percentage of Muslims. Singapore is near the equator and has a tropical rain climate with a long summer. There is no wind throughout the year. The temperature does not change much, the rainfall is sufficient, and the air humidity is high, with an average temperature ranging between 23 degrees Celsius and 34 degrees Celsius. Singapore seems wonderful, doesn't it? Now let's go to the current events. Let's go. Current situation of Singapore. Singapore operates as a parliamentary republic inspired by the Westminster system. Singapore's economy is a highly developed market economy with characteristics of strong government directive influence in the economic sectors. Singapore's economy has been classified as the most open in the world, the third least corrupt by Transparency International. The main industries in Singapore are financial, petrochemical, electronics, pharmaceutical, and high technology. As a primarily importing country, some of these are re-exported to other countries in the region. What is society like in Singapore? Singapore is a country of diversity, tolerance, independence, and multiculturalism. It is a place where modernity is the order of the day, a place where various cultures, religions, and preferences coexist without major issues. It is one of the safest countries in the world. The extensive network of routes of the train and bus system, together with the proximity of most places of interest to a bus or train station, makes it easy to get around the city. What to do or see in Singapore? Marina Bay Sands, you can't miss the opportunity to visit this iconic boat-shaped building, which offers a wide variety of activities and attractions. You can enjoy a Michelin-starred restaurant, stay in a luxury hotel, and admire panoramic views from the Sky Park. Additionally, the Art and Science Museum and the Shopping Center are options worth exploring. Typical Food of Singapore Chili crab, a very popular seafood dish among locals and foreigners in Singapore. It is made from mud crabs fried in a sweet, salty, and spicy sauce. Many consider it the national dish of Singapore. Well, this was a great start about Singapore. Now let's get to your curiosities. Come on! Curiosities about Singapore 1. A name from a confusion before adopting its current name, the country was called Temasek, which means sea town in Javanese. One of the oldest curiosities of Singapore is that in 1299 the king of Indonesia visited the island of Singapore. He saw an animal that looked like a lion and changed its name to Singapura, Lion City in Sanskrit. 
Still, experts assure that no lion has ever lived in Singapore, so its name was born from a confusion. Hence the city's icon, a lion with a fishtail called Merlion that unifies the two names the city has had. 2. Singaporeans can vote in UK elections. Singapore is a member of the Commonwealth, so its inhabitants can vote in British elections. In fact, they can even stand as candidates to be members of the English Parliament. 3. Problems for usurping land. Singapore is formed by bits of various Asian countries, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Cambodia mainly. The country has been buying land from its neighbors to expand its territory. Not everyone has taken it well, as there have been various protests and even bans on selling land to Singapore. 4. No chewing gum allowed, weapons maybe. Chewing gum is banned in Singapore and although many say that what is prohibited is throwing it in inappropriate places, the reality is that it is not sold in the country and before entering you are given an information sheet indicating that chewing gum is not allowed to be brought into the nation. The aim of the ban, which some consider excessive, is to prevent streets from being littered. It is also totally forbidden to bring in any sexual items, such as toys, videos, or magazines, but weapons can be brought in under certain regulations. 5. Multicultural Country The Asian country is a global example of cultural fusion and three of its most emblematic neighborhoods demonstrate this. In Chinatown, the Chinese population of the country is concentrated, Buddhist temples, markets, and a lot of cheap food are some of the things that can be found in this neighborhood. Hindu temples and the smell of spices are some of what can be found in Little India, while if you come across the King's Mosque it is because you are in the Muslim neighborhood. 6. Singapore boasts the world's largest infinity pool. The pool is located in one of its most famous hotels, the Marina Bay Sands, and to access it you must be a guest. 7. The Orchid Country The country has a collection of over 3,000 orchids in its National Orchid Garden, among which are some hybrids created in its laboratory and dedicated to famous people like Princess Diana. Well that was all about the fantastic curiosities. Now let's go back in time and see its history. Come on! History of Singapore Singapore, an island in Southeast Asia, has witnessed a remarkable transformation throughout its history. Since its founding as a small trading port by the British Empire in 1819, it has become a prosperous colony. During World War II, it was occupied by Japan and subsequently returned to British rule. In 1965, it gained independence and became a republic. Since then, under the leadership of figures like Lee Kuan Yew, it experienced rapid economic and social development, becoming one of the Asian tigers. Its economy diversified, focusing on sectors such as technology and finance. Despite its success, Singapore faces challenges such as managing ethnic diversity and environmental sustainability. However, it has earned a reputation as a prosperous and cosmopolitan nation, with modern infrastructure, a highly educated workforce, and an enviable quality of life. Well, this was all about Singapore. Now let's get to some questions for fun. Come on! Thanks for joining us on this journey. Yay! I hope you've enjoyed the blend of history and charm. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and, of course, subscribe for more adventures. See you at the next destination. Bye for now.